press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another. Puts himself the ambassador of Modi's new India, and this firebrand orator that I have, they just was Surya. Thank you so much. Handpicked literally by a Modi as the Bangalore South candidate because we have told he was very impressed by you and your work. Uh, is that how it is that actually your 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 speeches, the way you've worked as a as a Yuva worker also, that had impressed the Prime Minister and finally decided over uh, as you as a candidate over uh, Tejaswini Anand Kumar. To be very honest, I don't know how the uh, party leadership has arrived at uh, uh, this decision-making process. It's way above my uh, organizational uh, uh, knowledge and my standing in the organization. But I'm sure that uh, the party has taken a lot of relevant factors into consideration, More uh, one of them being uh, perhaps uh, that uh, a new age leadership should be groomed. And that uh, always has been the approach of the Bharti Janta Party. If you look at how the Adwani uh, Vajpayee uh, era mm. groomed a host of leaders from Pramod Mahajanji to Arun Jaitley, Sushma Swaraj, uh, Anand Kumar, all of these people, they were groomed by the Adwani Ji, Vajpayee Ji era. Likewise, the Modi Ji and uh, Amit Shah Ji era is also grooming a lot of young leaders and they are also grooming almost, you know, leaders of our age. Uh, uh, and, and that's how an ideology driven party always functions unlike a dynasty driven but party. But Adwani ji and Murli Manoj Joshi ji were moved to the Mark Darshi Mandal and to make way for me possibly for new young blood to come in. But at the same time the internal thing in the BJP especially in Karnataka is that your candidature has caused a rift within the BJP. It's literally like an RSS versus BJP fight within the Karnataka BJP now. No, not at all. Uh, the Bharti Janta Party's leaders, all of my uh, leaders in the party, they have blessed me. They are uh, supporting my uh, campaign every single day. Uh, our state president, Yadura Pasar, when I went to meet him and take the B form, was extremely uh, delighted. He said, uh, you're a young guy, you should go and win. Vijay Bhava Hogi Gadkon Ba. That was what he said. Um, Tejaswini Anand Kumar blessed me. Uh, all of our uh, party leaders, uh, Ashok sir, Somanna sir, all of them have been uh, standing behind my back and uh, their support is what is uh, giving this campaign so much strength. But how are you going to contest against BK Hari Prasad now? He is a Congress veteran. What will be your strategy on that? Well, he's a very senior leader and I respect him for uh, the work that uh, he's done uh, for, the, for their party. Uh, he's also been a very uh, 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 senior Rajya Sabha member. Mm. Uh, but I think this election people have decided to uh, elect Narendra Modi again as the Prime Minister of this country. And uh, that is the only agenda in this election throughout the nation. So whenever I'm going and talking to people, all people say, Sir, now Modi jate gidi sir. So, Sir, now Modi. You so, tweeted about that today, saying that wherever you went, people were actually impressed yes. by Modi and talking about it. Yes. So the and in addition to that, uh, the uh, whole um, candidature, hmm of you know selecting a 28 year old guy to uh, you know contest the elections and placing such immense faith uh, in the young of this country is something that has created a, a sort of a mini wave in the uh, constituency where i see so many young people uh, coming on their own uh, trying to you know uh, volunteer right. going on campaigning so that's been a very very uh, um, you know rewarding uh, and uh, happy experience your fiery speeches is something that led you forward also a lot of people caught, caught a lot of eyeballs had a lot of tweets and one of the reasons is your social media presence is ex is quite big because of the way you've spoken and put across your words. Even your grand statement about the fact that those who are with India are with Modi. These kind of fiery speeches now from a UR worker now that you take a national presence, will you tone down a little bit in your speeches? Uh, I wouldn't want to use the word tone down, but I'm sure that uh, with additional responsibility, it, you should uh, uh, you know be far more mature and uh, you know thoughtful about the way we uh, deal with ourselves. That again wouldn't mean that I'm going to be less, uh, uh, my convictions on the issues that I believe in is going to dilute in any manner. However, I am aware that uh, overnight and uh, now I have to like, you know, transform from an, uh, any other 27, 28 year old guy to um, uh, an office of a, you know, a national importance. Yes. Uh, yeah, you know, and, and a constitutional office where I have to take everybody along. Uh, and and uh, when you say that you're representing you know a 20 lakh people mm. and uh, more so a constituency as prestigious as bangalore south i'm having sleepless nights from the last uh, you know few days because the burden yes. of uh, the responsibility that i will have to carry on my shoulders is really intimidating however i am very sure and very confident that i will live up to all of this and i'm going to make the people of my city and my constituency very proud the words for bangalore south are they for narendra modi are they for Tejasvi Surya or are they for Anand Kumar? 
all three anand kumar i mean modi ji and uh, i are the, you know two factors here and i am a very very small component in the whole uh, exercise because uh, the party has repose so much faith in me is just one aspect however i think uh, the this city and this constituency owes a lot to shri anand kumar ji anand kumar ji is kind of one of the you know uh, uh, founders of modern bengaluru the kind of infrastructural uh, uh, you know contribution that he has done to the city is immense and especially this constituency has a lot of karyakartas who he had groomed uh, in the last so many years so uh, all of them are and they have seen me uh, you know grow up and uh, how i had uh, participated in his campaigns and work for the party under his guidance so even that is a very major factor in this constituency which is going to help me well tough competition for you did it said you all, not at all this is uh, you know i knew that uh, the moment uh, you know uh, the opposition was rattled and uh, i knew that they would be desperate uh, and in their desperation the congress party can only resort to cheap tactics and uh, my campaign has been throughout uh, as a policy because i'm a representative of uh, young india new india I have very consciously wanted to keep my campaign very positive, very courteous, and uh, very dignified. And I have uh, always uh, told my team and everybody in our campaign team that this is, should be our approach to the campaign. Uh, and and we are not going to resort to any dirty tricks. If the Congress wants to do it, they may because they know they are going to lose. And we are very confident that the people will uh, appreciate a positive campaign. That's what they want from new new India leaders. My last question: From 1996, BJP has never lost this seat because Anand Kumar has stood from. here big shoes to fill uh of course anand kumar ji was a uh, one of did, a, did you like a son and you yes, went and called tejaswini amma after that and he was i mean yes. so uh, you know the kind of uh, uh legacy that anand kumar ji has left behind is uh, you know immense and uh, i only pray god every day you know the last few days that i he gives me the kind of strength uh, needed to rise up to this uh, responsibility and i request uh, you know in all my all humility the people of this constituency that um, you know i am the, as old as you know perhaps their daughter and son uh, so i request them to guide me to mentor me to tell me what is right tell me what is wrong show me the path ahead uh, i am young i want to learn i want to earnestly do something good for the people uh you know irrespective of ideological differences between people all of that the moment we hold offices of you know constitutional offices we need to carry everybody along with maturity and, and responsibility of course them. of course so i i honestly want to uh you know uh, rise up to that uh, level of expectation and the kind of response i have seen from the people across the constituency when i have gone out to uh, seek votes has been extremely humbling and exp- uh, and you know uh I just hope that I get the strength to fulfill all their expectations because the expect the the amount of expectations they have from me is so immense. So yeah, that's we all. We wish you the very best, and uh, well, it's going to be an interesting battle that we see, and we just wish you the best for this, and we hope you come out victorious. Thank you very much Thank for talking so to the prince. Thank, Thank you so much. much.